is Sandeep Sajan and in this video my group members and I are going to be talking about the project that we worked on during our online internship of Penn University. Before we start talking about our project, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Bennett University for providing us with this wonderful learning opportunity and also our mentor Shambhavi Mishra for her constant guidance and support through these six weeks. The main aim of our project is to detect pneumonia from chest x-ray images. The data set for our project was obtained from Kaggle and contains 5,863 images belonging to two classes, pneumonia and normal. We have performed six different models on this data set and now my group members and I will talk about the top three models with highest accuracy. My name is Apurva and I'm a student at CCOW Pune. Uh, the model that I'll be talking about is BGG-16. BGG-16 gives an accuracy of 89% which is the second highest amongst the six models. We have implemented this transfer learning algorithm which transfers the learned features. Talking about the architecture, the input is a 224 by 224 RGB image. It is passed through five convolutional blocks followed by spatial pooling by five max pooling layers which follow the convolutional layers. We have then defined a primary metric that is accuracy and the optimizer is Adam. Callbacks have been used as a checkpoint to save model after every epoch, val loss to minimize the loss and early stopping to prevent overfitting of the model. The model turned out to be a great building block for learning purposes as it is easy to implement and provided us with a decent accuracy. I'm going to be talking about ResNet50. ResNet50 is one of the first models that we tried successfully. It is a pre-trained model. The pre-trained model is very useful in our approach since this model is already trained in a database of 1000 classes. The features that the model learns in the previous task can be easily applied to the new task which in this case is to study the significant features of the disease, pneumonia. Now let us look at the architecture of ResNet. ResNet architecture is a deep neural network architecture with 50 layers that uses residual learning. The ResNet 50 model consists of 5 stages each with a convolution and identity block. Each convolution block has three convolution layers and each identity block also has three convolution layers. The ResNet50 has over 23 million trainable parameters. In our project, we used ResNet50 on the ImageNet dataset as the classifier for pneumonia classification. We used categorical cross entropy as the loss function and stochastic gradient descent as the optimizer. We achieved encouraging results with an accuracy of 88.78% with minimal training and validation loss. Hello everyone, I am Vishwas. In this video, I am going to explain about pneumonia classification using CNN model. CNN model is one of the six models that we have implemented in this project. Uh, among the six models, CNN has given the best accuracy of 92.06%. We built the model using transfer learning approach. The data search used is chest X-ray images, uh, which is from Kaggle. And the, we use Keras framework to design this model. Speaking of architecture, we have used an input image of size 150 by 150 and we have used 5 convolutional layers followed by 5 max pooling layers at each step with uh, a dropout of 0.2% before the flattening. After flattening, the fully connected layers consist of 3 dense layers and 3 dropout layers which results in 23 lakhs and 14,000 parameters. In the CNN model, the activation function used throughout the layer is ReLU except the final layer where sigmoid, fun sigmoid activation function is used because of uh, binary, cl binary classification. Now, while compiling the model, we have used the Adam optimizer uh, and the loss function used is binary cross entropy. We have also used reduced uh, learning rate on plateau function to reduce the learning rate in case of overfitting and also we have used the early stopping in case of overfitting we can stop the model by training 10 uh, we have trained the model using 10 epochs uh, by training we have got an accuracy of 95 percentage uh, with val accuracy 94 percentage and we tested the model and we got the test accuracy as 92 percentage finally i thank my mentor shambhai mishra for a constant support and guidance throughout the internship program and th i thank bennett university for this wonderful opportunity thank you